videos answering comments and I got a lot of these questions how to get traffic the real question is how to find money for your business now it's all rooted in the same place so we're gonna chop that up and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do to find money for my business and what I've done in the past to find money for my business because it's not as complicated as you think it is more of a mind shift yes a mindset shift than anything else all right so we're gonna chop that up in just a second as soon as slow Sally gets out of my way hey this is Glendon Cameron founder of hustlers kung fu life skills.com be sure to go there and get your package of life skill and business videos for 99.99 that opens up a world of new possibilities for you now let's jump into this video because I know you want to know how to find money for your business okay this is the mindset shift you don't have a money problem you have an offer problem if you're struggling to get money or traffic go back to what you are offering I am the king of testing I have put out so many offers and people are like oh Glendon you know I don't know what to do I don't know what you're doing you keep changing things up so much typically if some doesn't stick around a long time it wasn't a good offer and I wasn't getting traction and I have learned the emotional detachment as much as I may like a project if it doesn't make sense it's not gonna make money and what that means is if enough of you out there are saying mm, I don't know about that Glendon it's just not gonna work so it's not a money problem it's an offer problem once again this is about how to find money for your business but it's also how to get traffic because both of them are running on the same rails now everything starts with your offer because when you have a very good offer and I'm gonna use some salacious examples traffic is not a problem so let's go with prostitutes this is like freak economics right so we got prostitute a who is young firm and looks like the girl next door very sexy then we've got prostitute b who's been on the street for a long long time and she just looks like a hot mess all right they're both on the corner now who's gonna get more money the young tender right the young fresh tender but they're both on the same corner right they're both exposed to the same traffic right you see where I'm going with this it's not a traffic situation it's an offer situation and if your offer is not hot sexy usable scalable it doesn't matter how much traffic you're exposed to you're still not going to make as much money as someone with a better offer so it's all rooted in your offer and what you have, what you're presenting out there to the public. Because I have learned the pain of putting together what I call a booty offer where, you know, I really like the project, but many of you out there, the marketplace, the important people are saying, uh, gee, I'm not feeling that. I hate these people. assholes we'll cut that out but many of you are just like I don't like that and see you're the marketplace you're the ones who make decisions because I don't care how much money I throw behind an offer I don't care how much sexiness I put behind the offer if you say I'm not feeling that and since I'm not feeling that I'm not opening my wallet I'm not opening my eyes I'm not sharing my attention with you it all goes back to the offer which is one of the reasons if you notice I've cleaned a lot of stuff up because I've had great offers but the packaging was screwed up so packaging is another part but to get to the heart of your questions the heart of your situation the middle of your pain is you got to craft much better offers to get traffic and money because they're both the same 
give you an example. Let's go back with Chewbacca Mom. Now, the mask had been sitting on Cole's shelves for a while, right? Good mask, uh, funny. I even thought about getting one, no lot. Now, what happened was they had a better offer than on the shelf. Here was someone, a user, not only a user, but a steady customer. That's like a peer level referral saying, hey, you know, I got this at Kohl's. I had some returns. I picked this up, right? But she put on the table a very good offer. That is the root of your problem. Now, once we get past that, let's say you have something that you need to generate 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, maybe 10 grand to get started because of the complexity of what you're selling. Get a part-time job, get two jobs, have a garage sale, have an estate sale, sell something. Because if you have the type of business model that you wanna put out there, and I'm gonna tell you something that you should do before you sell Grandma's China, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices. Plain and simple, that, that's really the reality of it. If you don't have the money, and I, and I urge you to sweat equity, earn it, hustle it up, make the money yourself, don't go on your credit card, but actually do some stuff to earn the money because it's going to make your decision-making process so much better. I mean, a thousand percent better. So you do that. Now, this is the thing. Before you go sell Grandma's China and everything and have this big estate sale, you want to find out if someone will pay you proof of concept before you do any of that. Because you're thinking, I need all this money and I got to get all this stuff to get started, right? So you get the money, then you approach the marketplace and the marketplace goes, boo, boo, his, you suck. And now you're all despondent, and you're like, fuck, I'm never gonna start a business again. I'm gonna just keep me a job. Part of that is you gotta vet out what you're doing. You gotta see if the marketplace has a need. Now, sometimes the marketplace doesn't know they need your shit. And then you have that golden opportunity. I'll give you an example. YouTube for Business, the new book, and of course, the stuff that I'm working on. In the next five years, video is going to be everywhere. People don't read. If you sell stuff online and you write all these descriptions, you get pissed off because you get a question from a customer or a potential customer asking about what's in the description. It drives you crazy, right? Well, video conveys so many more messages so much faster than text. You're watching this video. You're listening to me. You see me. You're making judges judgments you're getting the nuances there's cutting your brain is operating in like four different centers whereas if it's reading a book or some it's operating on one so you're getting way more information much faster this trend is not going to go backwards so I know this and I know that a lot of people are frustrated don't know how to do video and there's a lot of companies that need video and don't know how to deploy it and that's why I'm building an agency but enough about me now, the third way to raise money is a pre-sale. You've gone ahead, got proof of concept, you know it's gonna work, then you just say, hey, I don't have it yet, but we're gonna have it in two weeks, we're gonna have it in uh, two months, we're gonna have it in three months, or Kickstarter, we're gonna have it in a year. And that's another way to raise money. Now, also, when you are putting together your offer, take out all of the bill, the bells, the whistles, all this, just get it as skinny as possible. Just where it can walk in the room and say hello. And then build from that. Because like, uh, once again, with YouTube for Business, I purposely have not overly built it out because I'm taking feedback from you, the marketplace, about how I should do it. And I'm glad I did because many people struggle with video because of fear and, you know, or equipment issues or the, it's mostly fear. It's like 99.8% fear because you have seen some ugly motherfuckers here on YouTube with some big ass channels. So if your content is on point, if your information's on point, it doesn't matter if you look like, you know, uh, a Chewbacca or doesn't matter if you look like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, it doesn't matter. So get over yourself and start doing video. But essentially, 
you gotta get on that offer. That offer solves everything because when you're talking to investors, the offer is present. When you're talking to clients, the offer is present. Wherever you go, it's the offer. So if you have a money problem, you don't have a money problem, you have an offer problem. If you have a traffic problem, it's once again an offer problem. So get your offer uh, really sexy, really nice, and then approach the marketplace and you'll see a big difference in how the marketplace responds to you, all right? So that's all I got today for you guys on the internets. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video.